leave the hut. That's a great little cloud formation. Here we go, day 93. As I leave the hut behind, it actually looks like I'm heading into the clouds. A couple of walkers ahead. That's Ray and Luke in the far distance. Probably bump into them on occasions today when we take our regular stops. Been a nice, steady, gentle climb. Only 150 to 200 meters this morning. And pretty much at the top of the saddle here. It's been very easy walking. So the first seven to eight Ks under my belt in just over an hour and a half. That's great progress considering the start was 6.45 a.m. Should easily make it into Boyle Village tonight. Tiny little burst to the top over stones. Less than 100 meter climb. 20 meters from the top now. Very straightforward. And here we are on top of Dan Saddle. And I think today's pretty much downhill from here. Beautiful, beautiful day. Loved every minute of it. Amazing how our feathered friends sometimes just really enjoy coming to say hello. I'm probably about 30 centimeters away from the little guy, and they just love following me down. You can hear the streams coming a mile off. Well, not quite, but sometimes they only just when you come around the corner and you wonder what sort of crossing you're going to end up with, or you're going to get your feet soaking and you're going to be wading through water. <laughs> but this one looks pretty easy. On we go. So the last half hour or so has been a relatively straightforward, very gradual descent over a very well-formed path. A few stones on it, but hey. Heading into um, Boyle Village today, but there's a, there's a hut about probably five k's away. I've done about 10 k's today in the two and a half hours since I left, which has been really good going. The trail notes allow six hours for this section and I can't understand why it should take so long unless there's some major obstacles coming up been a been a good day and a very easy path and that's very very well deserved after the elevation earlier on in this section over the last few days and suddenly out of the forest and we can see the pathway quite clearly following down through the grassy fields there on we go. And a swing bridge just takes us to the Boyle's Flat Hat for lunch. And this is it. Boyle's Flat Hat. Nice lunch break. Nobody here. Everyone's obviously left for the day. You know, he's getting on, I suppose, after 11 o'clock now. Good section, that last one. Did it in just over four hours, which is great. Had six hours down on the notes, but I think that was probably very generous. This is the view from the Boyle Flats hut. The beautiful view. And we've got some more company. Say goodbye to the looks like the hut. In a beautiful setting. And another swing bridge. It's got quite a lead up to it, which suggests it might be wobbly. St James's walk by three and a half hours. Hey, that's not bad. Hmm. We're not going to Madeline Track. We are going this way. The St James walkway. We have some livestock. First to see. Ah, 
ladder than I thought. Lots of tree trunks, boulders. It's going to take longer than I thought. Hopefully wrapping up in just over three hours. About five k's from home now. And another swing bridge. So I arrived here at the Boyle Village, the Outdoor Pursuit Centre. There's also a, a campground a little bit further up. Um, funny day today. Um, sort of first section went really quickly and I, th we, I was travelling with two others, Luke and Ray, and we both thought when we had lunch around about half eleven that we were going to fly through for the last section, which was down in the notes as being relatively easy, but it just went on and on and on. It was a beautiful forest and just like with yesterday, we just switched off. Uh, we just wanted needed to um, we had a massive week and just just wanted to get to um to camp and the last section was just full of stones and tree roots and it took ages and we rolled in about three thirty just um just ready to ready to be here so um, i'm showing a dormitory here four days the next session starts tomorrow which is the arthur's pass session which is about five days but the last five days were were dynamite amazing um amazing scenery and of course the wild pass was conquered one of the one of the places i dreaded so great session just finished and um that was day 93 and i'm being bitten to pieces by sandflies out here so i'm going to head off now indoors and get my stuff ready for tomorrow morning and then head to bed